What's up, everybody? It's Sunday morning over here at the shop. Me and my uh, my co-part Slink here is gonna. What are we gonna do, Slink? Drop the transmission, pull the converter back out again. This will be our third time. Maybe it'll go this time. Maybe. So we are going to take the tranny out, pull the converter. Corey's gonna change the stator and do something with the fins or whatever him and Lane talked about. We're gonna get the car, hopefully get that done. And then sometime throughout the week, we're gonna put the car back together and we're gonna go try and test at Orlando next Sunday before we, me, Corey and Justin leave to go to Australia. So I'm gonna set this down and we're gonna start to it. What do you think, Slank? Huh? Well, So you knew it didn't have lights in here? Yeah, I did. Figured it out yesterday. <laughs> Trying to come in here and turn the lights on. We didn't have no lights yesterday. It's probably the switch. Probably. It worked Friday morning. We might have to run, over, run up to, what's that place up the street? Ace. And get a reception. Hmm. It's probably from you guys banging on it. I don't use the light. I told my guy to put it in. Something don't look like it. Yeah, that's the only thing. You know what I think happened to turn in? Whenever he sat, whenever he sat the car down, when he did that big wheelie, it came down. I think it hit something. Like it busted a weak spot. Ain't no way. It sat down so smooth, there ain't no yeah. way that it even. I mean, it was, it was bottomed out on the down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is going to suck taking this out in the dark. <laughs> it can't see the car. It can't see the light. in the dark. I'm supposed to be wearing glasses. That's what my problem is, too. I left my glasses at the house. I've got a pair, but I don't think you're as blind as I am. I'm pretty blind. Up close. I got a pair in the truck. Prescription, too, and I'm at two points. I don't want to get it too high. I'm just thankful we had power to lift the lift up. Oh, yeah. Because that would have really sucked. Uh -huh. You know what's also cool? Huh? Is that we can uh, take the drive shaft out without touching any of the other stuff. Like in Justin's car, he has to take all that shit loose to yeah. mine. We just get the bolts, slide it over the top rear end. It's out. So, I know we're going to need 7 16 and 3 8 for the. This is where the problem is going to come in because I can't see that shit there. Can we back this up a little bit? Don't take, don't get tools out of there unless you're getting on. Get a six tool. Okay. For what? That's the regular juice tool, the flat bladed one. That's what I'm getting. Oh, okay. 
and I'm gonna try and uh, put this somewhere. Man, this thing's really on here, isn't it? Let me. Oof. Well, tried to get stuff as you know secure as possible in there. Flat Zeus's here and 316 Zeus's up here. Okay. I'll just grab off that Now. Oh yeah. Mm. Don't say nothing. Come on, man. Bro, I'm not getting in trouble for this. Me neither. He's the only one that touches his toolbox. I'm just gonna leave that in there for right now until we get everything. Right. I'll bring the light up here. That's right. Well, the first thing I gotta do is get these damn get these damn bolts out. Let's move our video over here. I gotta get these. Speaking of the devil. Yeah. Lights don't work. Lights don't work. Found it. We went through everything. That worked. 
And they quit working yesterday, I guess. The houses work? Yeah, this is how we think we got this up. Man, this light thing is sucking. Good thing I don't, if I had, if I paid rent, I could feel bitch about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't pay rent. Why won't that go on there? Leave the, leave just the bolt in there for right now, because if you take that out, it'll fall. Oh. <laughs> it'll fall. It'll <laughs> just fall off. All right, so we got that, that, that. Now, um, half inch pocket. Yeah, you have it out? I think those are half inch. Yeah, those are half inch. No, I do not. I'm gonna take the shifter cable loose. All right. Well, we pretty much got everything done, guys. We just, uh, Gonna we'll lower the car down and get the bolts from the top. Hit those real quick. Then we'll jack it back up. Raise the transmission up. Pull the cross member out. Slide the transmission back. Get the torque converter out. Then we're just gonna set it back up in there. Transmission and put a couple bolts in the cross member just to hold it up for the time being. But we're gonna keep on plugging away. Making it look easy, uh -huh. Jack. Um, probably right there somewhere because we'll just hang it up here. That's one thing I kind of like about these little bendy arms. Yeah, but I'm gonna be holding this converter, so I'm gonna. Get it off the dowel, wiggle it off the dowel pin. Want to go backwards? Yeah, a little bit. Going down? Come on. All right, we're good. Come on down. I'm going to down. Like a glove. 
It's a little tight fit coming like that, but. Make sure it don't fall out. It's, I got my hand on it. It's way faster than taking all that shit loose, I can tell you that. It's almost all the way down. Why not? It'll come down the way you did. Keep coming. Keep coming. That was that. You jack it back up. Push it forward a little bit. Okay. Yeah. You got that? Yeah. Well, Push forward. All right, you're in. All right, now we need to come on up. Oh, oh, right there. Put that bar back in. Couple, just stick a couple bolts through it. It's not a it fits exactly perfect. Damn sure does, huh? Yeah, I think it's a switch. Everything else works. Huh? I think we're going to get a work switch. We need that power. Yeah. One in each? Two in each? Yeah. Hang on. We got to make sure we've got two in, e two in each because if not, it'll roll. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, we'll stick one on each side. Jack hey, you got bolts up in the top? For what? Oh, it's still sit up there? It's sitting on the dial, man. Oh, is it? I don't know. Yeah, it should be on the dial. Fuck, go slow. That's it. Done deal. Head back to Dustin and see if he'll take this one apart. <laughs> he'll probably put the wrong stator back in there. I mean, it'd be nice. I would have thought, how long did it take us to put it in? You got your phone? Yeah, it's not there. I mean, realistically, it didn't take us what? Maybe 30, 40 minutes? Yeah. And we sat and talked around for a little bit of that, too. Yeah. You gotta go down with it or leave it up here? You can stop it right there. Stop it. That way we gotta pump it up some more. All right, we got it out. Converter's out. Now Corey, Corey's gotta do his thing. Then we'll put it back in.